Welcome back to F124 Ranks. No! Bet you weren't expecting that, were you? I've made one video on F1 Ranked, and it's the first video I made on this game, and the only one. But you know, I've had some time off. Not enough, but I've had some time off. I just thought, I, I just, I, I kind of want to play F1. A bad one. So I decided to hop on F1 Ranked. And we're just going to see how it goes. It could go horrifically. It probably will. Literally just about to press play and the construction next door has started. So this is genuinely my first race back on F1 ranked. Saudi Arabia, a pretty bad qualifying. I'm pretty sure I invalidated my lap time, but it's Saudi Arabia and it's F1 ranked. I could go on to win by 30 seconds in this lobby, or I could fall 30 seconds back. You just never know. That's the beauty of F1 ranked. It's just the unknown. Anything can happen. You can hate yourself, or you could think this is the greatest game on the planet. Let's see what we think this time. So it's lights out and away we go for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Pretty average start off the line, everyone's getting off pretty equally. Down towards turn number one. Let's see the carnage unfold. Well, someone's been involved, luckily it wasn't us, so we're gonna go straight up into P3. Pretty damn successful if you ask me. It was quickly obvious to me that I didn't have the pace of the top two. I tried to stay on the back of Leah couldn't do it so I just kind of had to wait for mistakes not my own but um, yeah the best we could get at this race is P3 it was a pretty underwhelming start to be honest at the end of lap one we're already basically a second behind Leah it's gonna be a rough one I think and yeah end of lap two now you can see we're 1.8 seconds behind Leah 2.8 seconds off the lead it's gonna be P3 at the no he's for stappened it it's gonna be a best of P2 Unless Liam makes a mistake, we are guaranteed P2. P3, he was in my DRS, but he wasn't really challenging me. I'm really trying to make an interesting race out of what truly was a really boring one. It, it was a very, very dull first race back. Uh, yeah, literally nothing else happened from this point. Um, my highlight for the rest of the race was I, I hit the wall. That wasn't even in that clip. I don't even know why this clip's in there. Uh, we go on to take P2. Fair enough. On to the next one. Hopefully a wet race in Canada provides a bit more content. It's a track not known for providing content in the wet. Let's see what it does in the game. Lights out and away we go from P4 on the grid once again. Pretty decent start considering we're on intermediate tyres and there's ghosting into turn one or the entirety of lap one. So we go straight through P2 and P3. Into P2, right behind P1. Careful on the throttle, on the exit of turn number two. Pretty damn good start. Can't wait for it to go downhill. I didn't think it would be that quick. Heading on to lap number two, I'd fallen away from P2 a little bit, but now the cars were solid. These two are probably going to fight and ideally take each other out. And then I just slip on through to P1, assuming I don't lose the car before that happens but you can see they're really fighting through sector one it was kind of just a waiting game for them to take each other out to be honest it's a five lapper in the rain for the lead they are, they're bound to make contact i just had to keep out of the wall long enough to watch it Have I ever told you guys how much I fucking hate myself? So after that spin, we dropped a P5 behind TJ. This would be the worst mistake of the recording session. Not because of the positions I lost, but because TJ... Let's just say he was good for content. In other words, he's a fuck. It was instantly obvious that I was faster than TJ. You're probably thinking, oh, it's obvious I'm faster than TJ, surely you'll breeze past him. I wish that was the case. I don't know if he eased off on the exit of turn two, but he's weaving into the chicane. Obviously, we can't really make a move there unless we're really brave or 
stupid. Through sector one now, into sector two. I really want to beat this guy because I'm very much faster. I could potentially get P4 back if I get past him. When I get past him, into turn eight, he's gone defensive incredibly early. We're going to look to the inside, we're going to dive up the inside and he is just going to turn in on me and not even attempt to make the corner. Doesn't get anything for it, obviously, because this is F1 ranked. The penalty system is bollocks. I also weaved to the car behind me. That was basically me saying, back off, mate. I want to deal with this guy. So for the rest of this race, no one cares about the result. It's just a matter of beating TJ. Will I be able to do it? Well, given how this is a video, there's one of two outcomes. Either I successfully beat him or he takes me out. <laughs> Make a guess in the comments. I don't really know if TJ was easing off or not, but I just had the pace on him. Throughout the entire lap, we're going to challenge him down towards the final chicane, try and outbreak him on the outside, but in fairness, he didn't do anything wrong there. I outbroke myself, and he's going to get away once again. But we've got two more laps to do it. Hopefully, I don't bother this time. Our pace was shown for the first sector as we go purple, despite being behind TJ. He's gone for a spin, or a half spin, through turn five. Once again, he has just halted my momentum. We're going to challenge him down towards turn seven once again. Outside line this time. And uh, yeah, I, I still still can't get past him. We're still going to be pestering him down towards the hairpin. We're going to try and bait him to the inside so we can get a good run down the straight and take him towards the chicane. There we go, make him go defensive really tight to the line. But in doing so, I can't get my car turned around, so it's completely pointless. But we're going to have a good run down the straight. Is he going to squeeze us? Of course, he's going to squeeze us against the wall. Leave us just enough space. But you know what? He did make contact, but fair enough, he didn't, um... Never mind, that was absolutely fucking disgusting. I was going to say he wasn't that much of a dick. Never mind. Also, just a side note, just to slag off F1 ranked for a moment. The fact he's not got any penalties for this bullshit is bullshit in and of itself. Anyway, we've got one lap left to beat this guy. And right now, especially after that final corner, I really want to beat this guy. He's gone deep into turn one, really slow on the exit of turn two. And unfortunately, I lose the back end. So there's that opportunity gone. Despite this, he still goes unbelievably defensive into turn number three. This guy's just not a good driver. He's just an awkward driver. Realistically, I've only got one place I can pass this guy and it is towards the final corner. Obviously, otherwise, he's just going to dive me. Given how he's driven so far, he once again holds my momentum on the exit of whatever turn number that is. I think it's turn six. We're not going to change it out towards turn seven. Why would we? We've proven that he will just cut the corner. Coming out of turn seven, we can now start planning our move down the back straight. We're going to bait him to the inside once again, make sure he gets a poor run and hopefully just easily cruise past him down the straight. He runs wide at the hairpin. It doesn't matter about the exit because he's blocked us once again, but with ERS, we've got 50% to use up. This should be an easy move and it is indeed. We're going to squeeze him to the wall like he did with us. Hopefully the guy behind can get past, and he does. I feel sorry for the guy behind. He's probably going to get dive-bombed by TJ. I'm waiting just to be... He scared me for a second there. I was waiting to be just T-boned. But we're going to weave across the line. It may be P5, but we've beaten P... We've beaten TJ, not PJ. Ah, fucking ruined that. Oh well. Now you're probably thinking at this stage, you know, it's been a return to F1 ranked, but it's not really been that successful. You know, a P2 that should have been a P3, qualifying P4 and then finishing P5 because you spun. It's not been very good, Connor. So we go to Saudi Arabia once again, we take pole position by 9 tenths of a second. Can you see where this is going? Yes, yeah, lights out of where we go from pole position. Get off the line pretty well, we're going to be leading down towards turn number 1. And we're leading into turn one. We're leading by a second, halfway around the lap. And we're coming up to the line to win the race. Yes, 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 guys, yes. Come on, boys. That was fun, wasn't it? Great race. 